lot of entrepreneurs will tell you they're not motivated by money, but not Andrew Mason. When he started his business two years ago, Mason's goal was to make the world a better place. Since then, he has awakened to the elegance of the profit motive. When you're motivated by money and the other person across the table is motivated by money, then you can sit down and have this really awesome, honest conversation that's just like, what's in it for me? You know, <laughs> and that really appeals to me. Mason is the 28-year-old founder and CEO of The Point, the 23-employee startup that operates the website Groupon, which lets individuals in on group discounts through daily deals in Chicago, New York, and Boston. The Point is all about community organizing. It works like this. An organizer posts a call to action, to contribute to a cause, to sign a petition or whatever, and solicits volunteers. Anybody who's sympathetic can sign on, but their commitment is conditional. They're only required to act if a certain number of others commit. A recent campaign seeks outraged Chicagoans to join a protest against the city's new parking meter program, but no protest will be held unless at least 50 people agree to attend. Mason conceived the point as a tool for earnest do-gooders to achieve critical mass. At the time, he was a do-gooder himself, a University of Chicago graduate student working on a policy analysis website. But his academic career ended quickly after Mason got a call from Eric Lefkowski, the Chicago entrepreneur and investor. Lefkowski had heard about Mason and smelled an opportunity. To find a business idea that really doesn't exist on the internet is difficult. So uh, that was intriguing and we thought, you know, um, if to the extent this is successful, it'll have a lot of, um, it'll have a lot of commercial viability and that a ton of people would want to be part of these campaigns that, you know, can accomplish something. At first, Mason was taken aback. It hadn't occurred to him that his idea might be a business. He was even more surprised when Lefkowski offered funding if Mason would leave school to build the business. And that whole concept to me was totally alien, like that he would just give me a bunch of money on the promise of it having a return someday. Lefkowski did give him the money, and in 2007, Mason launched his community organizing website as The Point. In addition to Lefkowski's seed funding, they raised $5 million from venture capital giant New Enterprise Associates. The original plan was to build traffic and sell advertising, like any social networking site. But as even the biggest of those players are learning, advertising is a tricky business. The giants of the social internet have struggled to turn their millions of users into revenue. Then, last year, Mason and Lefkowski had a better idea. They would offer their tipping point concept to businesses to help them get customers in the door, to let individuals get group discounts, and to generate non-advertising revenue for the point. So, a restaurant can offer a $35 gift certificate for $15, but the deal will only be honored and customers will only be charged if at least 100 people sign up. The point takes a cut of the proceeds. Mason dubbed the new business Groupon and kicked it off in October, offering a deal a day in Chicago. Groupon has since gone from 46,000 visitors in November to 350,000 in April. In March, a Groupon launched in Boston, and on the first Monday of May, Groupon debuted in New York, where it's already signed up 13,000 users in less than two weeks. The plan is to deploy the concept in cities around the world. Mason won't disclose his revenue, but it's clear that cash is coming in. In a recent deal, 600 Chicagoans signed up to pay $185 for teeth whitening valued at $600. Selling teeth whitening seems a far cry from Mason's community organizing origins. But as his business has bloomed, Mason has come to see profit as a uniquely pure pursuit. At the point, he grew frustrated with the politics, venality, and mixed motives of the philanthropic world. And with Groupon, he's found a way to serve a group he'd never thought of as needy, consumers. Ironically, you know, when, when, we, started, when we started Groupon, we were thinking of it as, oh, this is this is a sort of discount site that'll be the business model, the, the tail that wag, wags the dog. But we hear from so many of our users how great it's been for their lives, that it's helping them get out of the house and explore the city and really enjoy their lives and be more social and things like that. So in a really ironic way, it's perhaps created more good or done more good than the point ever did. On a warm night in late April, 177 Cub fans took in an early season game from the rooftop at Skybox on Sheffield. For their entry, plus all their food and drink, they paid $69 each, about half what owner Dave Abrams normally charges individual ticket buyers. Abrams offered the deal through Groupon as a way to help fill his building on a slow night in a slow economy. Even as Abrams' corporate business has slowed this year, he sold over 1,000 tickets to six games through Groupon. Among Abrams' patrons that night, Sam Rabins, a 23-year-old from Lakeview who snagged a rooftop ticket thanks to a friend who stumbled onto Groupon. Rabins had never heard of the website, but standing on the roof looking down into Wrigley Field, she liked what she saw. 
And I love discounts, especially in a city where things aren't so cheap and in an economy where things aren't so great, you know, where you can get things for good deals for you, for your friends, you know, that things you normally love that are pricey and can't necessarily afford, it's a good thing to do.